Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, for you guys, we're back with um, a NFL video, and we're going to be predicting the 2021-2022 playoffs. Um, so, yeah, we got a special guest with us, and we're going to no. start right now with Let's do it. the AFC Chiefs versus Steelers. Um, oh, my. The Steelers squeaking in there. So I personally think that um, it was good that the Steelers made it, um, but I do think the Chiefs are going to win um, and move on to the second round. This one's there's not really too much to talk about in this one because I feel like it's even though the Steelers could shock people and they might be able to win this one, but I feel like it's in K KC and I don't know. I just feel like. They got this one. Yeah, I, I find it hard to believe that the Steelers could beat them. And if it does, it's probably going to be the biggest upset of the playoffs. So I'm with you. Kansas City for the win. And they beat them 36-10 to 10 in the regular season without uh, Travis Kelsey. So I definitely mm. think that the Chiefs have a high chance um, to win this one. Totally. So the second matchup is the Bengals-Raiders. This one, to me, is also kind of – actually, it's even – um, the Raiders, um, with all the things that have been happening with their team this year, um, losing all these players and coaches and stuff, their uh, interim head coach has stepped up and done a really good job. And Derek Carr's had a breakout season. Hunter Renfro and Waller's back, yeah. And, yeah, but they don't really have um, that many players, offensive weapons and stuff anymore. And the Bengals are hot. And T. Higgins, Burrow, that connection. I'm liking the Bengals here. I, I agree. Um, Jamar Chase has had over 1,000 yards. T. Higgins has over 1,000 yards. Burrow has almost 5,000 yards, which is crazy. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Next year, he's probably going to become a top 5 QB or top 10 QB in the league. I would think so. At this, and point, at this way, he's going right now. The job Zach Taylor has done their coach this season to um, lead them to the um, their division's championship because that's a tough division with the Browns and all those teams. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Perfect. I'm going to pick the Bengals, although I do think the Raiders have a chance. Derek Carr's uh, really shown that he's a good quarterback this uh, it'll season. It'll be close. I think it'll be closer than the Chiefs and uh, the Steelers. So next is the Bills and the um, Patriots. These teams I've played twice. In the regular season, um, the Patriots have won one, and uh, Patriots have won one, and the Bills have won one. So yeah, that's that's an interesting matchup because the the Bills have sort of been, well, not what they were last year, and uh, the, the Patriots have been a surprise. I think you can't you can't dismiss them. You know, they ditch Cam Newton, and you know they got a. New new Q, QB, and they're ready to go. Yeah, and Josh Allen's had another really kind of MVP-type caliber season, and Mac Jones has had a really good rookie season, um, as well as the Patriots' run game's been very surprising to me. They uh, have two solid backs and then a pr pretty okay third-string back. And, yeah, Harris has been good and good. And Stevenson has been good coming in. Um, also, the Bills have a good defense and as well as a good offense. Their run game is um, not the greatest, but they do have a very good pass game. So I think I take the Bills in this one. The, the Bills have lost a couple games this season that I kind of feel like they shouldn't, but I'm kind of going to go with you. I think that they have experience from last year's playoffs. I just don't think Mac Jones is going to make a big impact in the playoffs the way other experienced players would. So I think they got the uh, the edge there. Yeah, and I also think the home advantage helps them because um, they're a team I feel like will do better at home. Yeah, um, that's a big deal. Even though in the regular season, the Patriots beat them in Buffalo. That was when there was all the snow and rain and bad conditions that game. So now we're going to move on to the NFC. The first round of the NFC – uh, this one for me is actually probably the one of the best games. I'm excited to watch one of these this game. Niners and Cowboys. Mm. It seems like the Cowboys would just blow out the Niners, but what the Niners did um, 
last game against the Rams to make the playoffs and wow, what, yeah. what they've done all season. Debo Samuel's touchdown pass. Yeah. They got George Kittle and you know, they really Garoppolo is good when you know, when he's good, he's good. And I think that it will be an interesting game, you're right. And their defense has been good enough as well as Dallas, um, always past two years been one of the best offenses in the league. And especially this year the defense is especially with Dak. Last year they had one of the worst defenses in the league, but this year they have um one of the best defenses in the league as far as guys like Diggs stepping up and the rookie Parsons stepping up, who's probably gonna win defense um defensive rookie of the year. Uh so I like the Niners chances, but I have to go with the Cowboys. Again, they've just been the better team overall. You know, both these teams have been very good this yeah. season. I think Cowboys are the real deal from the NFC this year. I think I really the last do. couple of seasons has kind of been like, eh, who's going to show up? But I think Dax proved himself this year. I mean, that one game he had, it was just unbelievable. So I think he could pull that out. Again, I think it's experience. And, you know, Grappolo was, you know, there's, that team was in the Super Bowl, not too far removed from this year. And they just, you know, they struggled but I think that's going to continue I think the Cowboys are going to win so this one's the most even matchup in my eyes obviously it's the five and four seed uh this game Cardinals Rams I think these two split the season series one to one um and the Rams have been really good uh Matthew Stafford he's struggled the past couple weeks um but I know he hasn't really especially being with Detroit for so long Hasn't really had a chance in the playoffs, and I think right. that he's going to be very playing very well in the playoffs because I know he he's wants a ring. Super charged up. I agree with that. And he's had a little bit of an interception issue as of late, and I think that also on the other side, Kyler Murray's you know he's struggled a little bit too here. But I think these teams are going to be revved up, and the playoffs means so much more than some of these regular season games that. It's. I think it's going to be a high-scoring, real close game. Yeah. Kind of like a point. At the beginning of the year, I thought the Cardinals would win the NFC with no problem. Yep. Uh, the last part of the season, after the loss to the Lions, they had some struggles. But I'm taking the Rams because um, Cooper Cup has just been explosive this year. Yeah. And now Beckham is starting to actually do really well with them. Yeah. Um, he's been with them now for, like, I don't know, five or so weeks, and he's starting to – get about a touchdown per week, and he's starting to be like the second receiver behind Cooper Cup. So I'm taking the Rams here. I know we've picked all the home teams, all the mm-hmm. higher seeds, but, you know, sometimes you got to just go with the favorites. I would go with the Rams too. I think it's going to be close, but I think you're right. I think Stafford just has to have a really good game, and Stafford's good, and they are good. Eagles-Bucks is our last game. Oh, my. Well, Eagles fan next to me. Um, mm-hmm. So... Although the Bucks have like no receivers left except for <laughs> Mike Evans and Gronk and Cameron Brait, um, their run game can be really good. Uh, Leonard Fournette and Jones. I don't know if Fournette is playing. He should be. Yeah, they said he was going to be good for the playoffs, so they have him. But you know, he's been off. He was and injured. We'll see. I think if Tampa's D plays good, they should be okay. I mean, they're. Tom Brady's just way too good in the playoffs, and he wants revenge on the Eagles um, from a couple of years ago. <laughs> from the Super Bowl. I know that. So I, I do think that the Buccaneers are going to win this game, but this is where the Eagles, especially Jalen Hurts, has to kind of I, you know, I think the Eagles could people. be the upset of this, this playoff season. But, I, you know, I'm saying that as a fan, but I'm also saying that as, as a, they're, they've really come together, and if they – all their, you know, all their major players, all their major role guys play well or even above well. I don't know that Tom Brady can deal with that. And it'd be just a lot like the Super Bowl, you know, what, five years ago. And it could be very similar to that, I think. I'm just going to go with the Bucks just because of how much experience Tom Brady has in the playoffs That's compared true. to Darius. Jalen Hurts, who's yeah. never been in the playoffs. So I just, I got to take the Bucks. Yeah. Uh, I just think they're just a bit more explosive, but... The Eagles have been very surprising this season. It should be close. I think it'll be close. I think it will be close. Again, it's in Tampa. I think that favors in just a little bit. Do you see any blowout games here? Pick one blowout game here that you think could happen. Um, um, 
definitely the Chief Steelers. <laughs> yeah. Although um the Steelers have a lot of offensive weapons and they've been really good this year. Um I just don't know if they can be as good as Mahomes and that Kansas City yeah, offense. I agree. So yeah. now we're gonna move on to the AFC uh divisional round and then the championships. Uh Bengals Titans who you got in this one? Uh, you know, without Derrick Henry, I just don't know the Titans are uh, oh, what they were. Henry is going to be coming back, I think, for this game because the Titans have their bye week, and he's going to be... Will he be ready, though? Will he be playing at the same level he was when he left? That's if, my question. If not, I think they still got four men, and they, they have oh, so true. much time to rest, and they're That's at true. home, and Tannehill's been way better as a late... I. I think the Titans have got this one. I want to see Tannehill move his legs. I think if Tannehill gets his legs moving and isn't so stuck in the pocket like he used to be, I think if he runs the way he did, moves the way he did, and they have Derrick Henry, the whole game will change for them. And now that their team's healthy, Julio Jones and A.J. Brown are healthy, I do think that although the Bengals really offense as explosive, I think if the Bengals defense plays well this game, they win. But I'm going to go with Tennessee in this one. Yeah. And I think they're going to be moving on to the AFC Championship. I'll go with the Bengals, but I'll I'll, I'll say that if the Titans win, I, I'll give them a nod. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some cred. So, Bills, Chiefs in this one. Uh... I mean, it's you can't, rivalry, you can't, yeah. you can't doubt the Chiefs. These teams played last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, Chiefs won that and went to the Super Bowl. That was the AFC Championship game. And I just can't, I just can't bet against the Chiefs. I gotta go, Kansas City, um, yeah. taking this one. I just, they're. I mean, I think they'll be at home in this one, but yeah. I, I think they can. I think that'll be lopsided too. I think they'll they'll beat them pretty bad. No, I, I blah, but I have over ten interceptions, so it's just the ability to not turn over the ball and Rams defense, who's really good. I, I still think, I think this one's gonna be like. 30 something to 20 something. I think Packers will move on to the NFC Championship. Cowboys Bucks. This one's going to be one of the good good games, but in my eyes, I think the Cowboys are going to upset the Bucks. Yeah, I think it's about time for, for someone to take Tom Brady out and I think Dak Prescott, I think this is his year to do it. I think it's yeah. his chance. I think he's got the full team. If Elliott can step up, really step up. And you got CeeDee Lamb. you got all the pieces. Mari Cooper will be good. D I just has been great. Yeah. We'll I think, I, think that I actually think that the Cowboys are going to win this one pretty good. I really do think Brady without many. I don't know if Godwin will come back by then. But I really think that the Cowboys are going to um, get this upset and move on to the NFC Championship against the Packers. So now that we have that, we have the two championships. Um... Some similar teams in from last year. You have the Packers in from last year, and mm -hmm. you have the Chiefs in from last year. But those are two teams that just are going to be in there for the next couple of years, every year, poss yeah, yeah, yeah. possibly. Uh, yeah. So Chiefs, Titans. Um, I mean, I gotta if, go with the Chiefs still. I can't, I, can't. I gotta go with the Chiefs just, like, going know, to the Super Bowl again. I they're ahead of the Super Bowl. It, it just wasn't... seems yeah. I don't know. It just seems weird, but like. I think the Chiefs take this one. Derrick Henry, he's going to probably have a good game if he's back by then, but I just... Won't be enough. It's too, too little, too late in my eyes. If, if the Chiefs' D doesn't do great, then the Titans do have a chance. Um, but I think the Chiefs take this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the stiff arm king can save him, but it should be uh, an interesting game. I think the Chiefs have just gotten better and better, and they needed to get better this season the way they started, but... They're headed to the Super Bowl again. And this, in my eyes, is going to be the best game of the playoffs, if it happens. Cowboys, Packers, two teams that score roughly 30 points a game, probably. Yeah, super explosive. Just... Um, defenses have been great, especially Dallas's D's probably been just a bit better, but Green Bay is stringing together wins with all the offense they get. Well, you mentioned, too, turnovers as far as interceptions go with Rodgers. I think if they can get it. A couple sacks, get him to fumble the ball. I think the Dallas's defense is that good. And I yeah. think this interception would help, but I think they could really put pressure on him. And I think and speed from like 
guys like Mike Parsons, since he's young, he's mm -hmm. going to really be able to play really well that game. Um, Diggs, is, I mean, you know, you got to pressure, you got to make Aaron Rodgers uncomfortable. And if he's feeling it and he's feeling himself, he's going to he's gonna pull it together. And I, I, I think Who are you going with here? this is the year for the Cowboys. I mean, they just been, they were good last year. I feel like they had a chance to be where they are right now. It's a pretty um, bold choice. I, I would say pe Packers, but I, I'm not going to say that if the Cowboys get in, I'd be disappointed or surprised. Um, for Cowboys Even fans. though guys like Lazard have been stepping up, backup receivers, it's not mm -hmm. just Devontae Adams now. Right. So Packers have a really good chance. I think this game's probably going to OT, and it's going to be really close either way. Yeah, they, a couple so of these now games could go to OT. You have your Super Bowl, you have the Cowboys, Chiefs, Dak, or Mahomes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know here. And again, I, I don't know. I, I'm personally, I. I think would it, bet on the Chiefs, but I wouldn't mind seeing Dallas win, even though I am an Eagles fan. I, it makes me feel horrible to say that. I think my heart's going to stop pretty soon. But on that note, I wouldn't mind seeing the Cowboys win this. Say, I don't believe they will, though. They say defense wins championships. Mm. And Casey's D's been good, but Dallas's D's just it's been better. better. It's better, yeah. And these two offenses are about the same. Um, I think Cowboys lead the league in points per game. It's gonna be again. It's gonna be close. It's, it's gonna be way better than the Super Bowls we've had in the past couple of years. I think this one's gonna be one of the best Super Bowls Who we've had. Who scores last will win. I agree. Here in a while, good. and yeah. we need a good Super Bowl this it year. It will be an underdog. I go with Dallas again. I just don't. I can't bet against them. If anything, I think the toughest game for Dallas is probably. I don't know. The pack, yeah. I think Packers the Packers could be a more difficult game for them than the Chiefs. If... But Cowboys could lose in the first round, <laughs> and then all this my predictions would just be worthless. I do think they're going to win it. No, I don't think they're going to lose in the first round. But, yeah, I think I think that would be an interesting um, – it would be a great Super Bowl. It's going to be a great Super Bowl. Yeah, no, no I'm excited to see um, this whole playoffs in general. I'm – um, since the Dolphins aren't in the playoffs, my team I'm rooting for right now in the playoffs, I'm really rooting for the Bengals. I like what they've done. Um, mm -hmm. Getting Jamar Chase, he's just been so good. They have two receivers over 1,000 yards. and Mixon's consistently good. Yeah, and Joe Burrow has just been lights out, especially the past couple weeks and the whole season. They're playing like a team, which you haven't seen the Bengals do in a while. They're actually yeah. playing like a team. They used to be team. at the bottom with the Browns, and now oh, both yeah. those teams are stepping up a bit. So that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed our predictions. I know it was a longer video. Can't really edit too much of it out because you kind of want to hear the thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think the Cowboys personally will win it. But I could see the Packers, the Chiefs, the Bills, uh, Rams, Cardinals. I could see oh any of these yeah. teams making it. Or an you know, wild card. In or who knows, it could be Eagles, Steelers, the underdogs. <laughs> that would be Could terrific. always get to the top. <laughs> the so. PA teams. I, I think that would be hysterical, to be honest. And that's going to do it, and we'll see you guys.